Hi guys, this is a quick tutorial about nested playlists. So you probably recognize the more contents you have in your playlist, the more confusing, confusing it gets. You lose the overview of which content is where. That's why nested playlists are pretty helpful because it um, helps you to organize your content way easier than with traditional playlists. Because with nested playlists you can drag and drop one playlist into another one. How that works, I will show you now, and um, yeah, which benefits you have of this too. So let's assume I'm a real estate agent and I want to show my digital exposés in combination with some other services I offer or with some RSS feeds. So here my content management system, I already prepared a playlist, a final playlist where you can find the weather for example and some other templates I prepared. And in between these templates I want to add all my digital exposés that yeah, gets repeated after each template. So with the traditional playlists I would now have to drag and drop each exposé between the templates. Here, all, all the seven in between here, and then again start here, drag and drop each expose. This takes me a lot of time, and as you see, the yeah the playlist gets longer and longer, and I am completely losing the overview. So that's bullshit, and I delete everything I edit. And now with nested playlists, uh, playlists it's way easier, so um, I organized all these exposés in a folder, or in another playlist better, I have here. So what I'm doing now is going on my final playlist and just drag and drop the playlist with all my exposés, which is way easier instead of putting each content separately. So when do you need a nested playlist? I would say if you just have one playlist with one, two, three or four content, um, it doesn't worth it to buy a software or to buy a feature like nested playlists. But the more complex um, your playlist gets and the more contents you have, I would recommend to, to use these nested playlists and just drag and drop playlists into others. Like you saw in my example, it just saves so much time in the future and for updating playlists too. Um, I would highly recommend using them. Yes guys, I hope you liked that quick tutorial and I also hope that it makes your playlist management way more comfortable for the future. If you liked this, it, give us a quick thumb and follow us on YouTube or Facebook. Um, we have way more exciting news, um, digital signage news. So yeah, I hope to see you next week. Bye.